Okay, so before I get too far, I forgot to do this last week. I was reached out to on Instagram by this amazing girl, Magical Linda. You can find her on Instagram here, and she asked if I would send her some of my parrot's feathers so she could make me earrings, and y'all, I'm obsessed. They came out so cool. Anyways, head on over to her Instagram and check her out. They were totally reasonable. It cost me like two or three dollars to mail my feathers. I just threw them all in a little plastic bag and sent those over and she did a great job. I actually had a couple different pairs made. These are especially cool and special to me because I have one feather from each parrot here. Cookie, Sam, and then two sun conures. One with just feathers from the sun conures. Those are here, those are super cool. And I just love the color of Cookie's feathers. So I had her make me a pair from Cookie also. Thanks so much, Linda, for thinking of me and reaching out. I'm super excited about my earrings here. And I hope you guys can get some of your own parrots feathers made into earrings too. They're awesome. Hi, what are you looking at? Good afternoon. Talking about some food today. Sam is scrounging for scraps, it looks like. One of my followers on Instagram, go check us out at Best Blocking Friends, asked me whether or not it would be okay to use the spice sack that comes inside the bag of beans that we use for one of the chop recipes made by Bertrix. And it got me thinking I really like to encourage people to know that certain things are unhealthy for their parrots. I know a lot of people like to share their meals with their parrots. Their parrots basically come over and sit on the table with them and eat off their plate. That can be really dangerous for them. And long-term, it just is generally unhealthy. People food is not intended for parrots in a very large part, and I'll explain why. It is an option to shop organic as often as possible when you can. I definitely encourage it. One of my favorite places to shop totally organic is from my friends Stallman's at Bear Creek out in Texas. If you're ever in the area of Canyon Lake, go check them out. I will put a link to their website and Facebook down below. That's one of my best friend's husband stores. They do an amazing job traveling all around Texas, collecting their produce, as well as bordering states. It's good stuff, huh? There are a lot of different foods, such as avocado, onion, mushroom, cinnamon, garlic, just to name a few, that can be really dangerous for your bird if ingested too much. Chocolate, caffeine, salt, sugar, those are all things that your parrot really shouldn't be exposed to. You have a cute butt. Pretty butt. So, I wanted to educate you guys on that and kind of the specifics as to why. Here we go. Peach is helping me from up top. I've learned that it's actually the leaves of the avocado that are specifically dangerous to parrots. There is something in them that is very acidic for them and can cause near instant death. There have been other types of avocados that are known to be safe for parrots. I think it's just a good rule to be safe than sorry and give your parrots something that you know is healthy for them. There are a ton of other vegetables and fruits that are safe for your bird. So I would lean towards handing them a carrot or a little piece of mango instead. Not an actual piece of my mango, that's not what I meant. Caffeine is also extremely dangerous for your parrots. Caffeine is known to increase the heart rate, and even though for humans it makes us feel great because it helps wake us up, gives us a little extra energy, some pep in our step, but for parrots um, it can actually induce cardiac arrest. So because of the unknown, because you don't know how much it's going to take, they may take one sip of your coffee or tea, um, I would just encourage you to be very aware that even just a little lick off the top of your soda can can be fatal for them. So be sure to have a nice clean bowl of water or uncaffeinated tea nearby. So I know a lot of you love chocolate. That's one of my personal favorite treats. And unfortunately for parrots, it does contain caffeine and another product called theobromine, if I pronounce that correctly. 
Those can both induce anxiety, increased heart rate, that can also cause cardiac arrest, and because you don't know how much it will take to cause problems for your parrot, again, pick up your mind, Peach. Better to leave it out and just hand over a small piece of fruit if you really feel the need to give your bird some sugar. I know we've talked about this several times before. I recommend that you do not give your birds a seed diet. Seeds can be used as a treat or reward for training or good behavior, but as a primary part of their diet, it is extremely heavy in fat. And who doesn't love fat? I'm sure a lot of people would eat pizza three meals a day for the rest of their life if they could but those fats are eventually going to catch up with you. And long-term, it's just extremely unhealthy for your bird to be eating that much fat. It's going to make them fat, it's going to clog their arteries and potentially shorten their life. Thanks, Peach. As crazy as it sounds, salt is actually extremely unhealthy for your parrot as well. That's why it's important when you are making your chop for your parrot that you are using as much organic and untreated items as possible such as unseasoned beans and don't salt your pasta okay it actually leads to electrolyte and fluid balance issues and can cause your bird to become dehydrated completely unnecessarily just because they had too much salt and one little grain of salt to us is not very much in consideration to our body size and weight so consider that a very small piece of salt for your parrot is a huge piece of salt for your parrot. Take care of them. Hi, Peachy. Mimi. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my new little watermark here down in the corner below. You can subscribe right there. I'll wait. Thanks. And like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if there's something you'd like to see us talk about in the future. And say bye, PG. Okay, we're working on that one. We are working on the wave. New trick coming soon. <laughs>